under a minute away now from this race getting underway. Where are we? Copenhagen. Why are we here? Because I'm running a marathon tomorrow. How are you feeling? So I made it. I'm in Copenhagen. The big dance is tomorrow. I'm starting to feel quite nervous now. Very excited and just ready. So I'm channeling that energy. I feel ready to go. All the hard work is done. And it's just about laying horizontal today. Traveled here from St. Moritz yesterday. Got on the most beautiful train to Zurich. So scenic, lovely views out the window. Got to Zurich airport. Did my thing, obviously got my nails done because if you get your nails matching your shoes, you're gonna run faster. And then flew from Zurich to Copenhagen. Got a good night's sleep. Woke up this morning feeling well rested. And then just went for a little shake out to get the legs moving, get the travel out of the legs. And was joined by a strange man on the bike who just wouldn't stop filming me. Really weird. This guy. <laughs> Saw the sights of Copenhagen a little bit. Lovely run, lovely weather outside as well, quite warm. Got my strides in, legs feeling good. And now I'm gonna prep my bottles and make them look absolutely ridiculous. It's really important to be able to see your bottles in the race when you're on the elite start because you're gonna be potentially jostling for space and making sure that you get the right bottle with the right fuel that you practiced with throughout your block. So I'm gonna have my OTE stuff in my bottles. Huge shout out to OTE for sponsoring today's video. More about them later. But now we're gonna get a little bit artsy and craftsy and make my bottles look very ugly, but very noticeable. Right, I'm gonna go and rinse these ones. So I did have um, a few people message me about using these bottles and whether they're, I can't remember the language for it, but like suitable for human consumption. Consum drinking from? Probably no, is the answer. But uh, I don't care because I'm gonna be literally, yeah, I mean, I've used them to practice and I'm using them for the marathon. I'm not gonna be drinking out of these full time. They're just so easy to hold. They're thinner, they're small. And by having the straw and this bit, you then squirt the, the liquid in. You don't get any air, you don't have to swallow any air and you can get quite a lot in and down quicker than if you're kind of running with a bottle, kind of having to tilt and use it. So it's those, it's those little one percents, I think anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you screaming? The shower just came on. I was trying to wash my hands <laughs> and I'm, oh my god! I'm actually wet! How, what? <laughs> I forgot to tell you. Jeez, I just wanted to wash my hands. <laughs> so, we've got options. Mm. I bought these green flags because I thought about buying England flags, but then I thought some of the other England people might have England flags and I didn't want to get confused. So I'm trying to go for a combination of things that no one else will have. <laughs> so I bought green flags. So every time I get a bottle, I'm like, yes, checkpoint secured green flag. And they are pretty light actually, but I just don't know if, that's quite striking there already, isn't it? Yep. And then I've got the tape that could, we could go like that. You can make the handles or not? Yes, but then that might get in the way of the flag. Yeah. So I might ditch the flags. We'll see. I've got them as an option. I think put them on at the I end. Just, I just see. like waving the flag. <laughs> yes. Anyway, um, you mentioned handles. This is what the pipe cleaners are for. Yeah. And and someone did someone comment on one of the videos? Yeah. Yeah. And I also was reading an article about how elite marathon runners dress up their bottles. And I think it was Amy Craggs. I think she came third at the World Champs in 2017. So like, she's fast. She swears by the pipe cleaner handles. So she makes like little handles like this. And she said that she always goes for the bottle, but that the pipe cleaner handles have saved her ass so many times that now she always puts the handle on them. Some of the Japanese athletes, they have just the handle and they just, I'll show you, they put the helm through and they just get a little shopping bag. So yeah, get artsy and craftsy. Let's do it.
latest OTE drink hydration snack accessory. Perfect uh, retail price, $49.99. They're one of a kind. This uh, exclusive batch of nine will be dropping tomorrow morning. And they're all mine. <laughs> Just to explain the fueling situation, what I will be taking is one 500 ml bottle of OTE super carbs. That has 80 grams of carbs in it. That is then split between three bottles. One of these will have approximately 26 grams of carbs in and approximately 166 ml of liquid. The gel is on there as an emergency in case I miss a bottle. I'm gonna have a couple of spare gels in my sports bra in case I miss a bottle and if I do miss one or I just slip and it doesn't, I don't pick it up, I can whip that gel out, take the gel and then at the next bottle, rip the gel off and replace the spare. So I'll always have two spare gels and that's it. Nine bottles, they're not every 5K because that's not where the drink stations are. So they're kind of as close to that as we could get. So the first one's at three and a half K, the second one's at seven, I think. I've got it all written down on here and I'll give these in in the morning in the box and then they'll be there waiting for me and I'll be able to spot them from a mile away because they are so beautiful. What do they have written on them? Uh, they have special messages written on them. So this one is bottle number eight, which I'll be getting at 38K and it just says squeeze because that's all I need to know at that point to squeeze the pace, squeeze every last little bit I can out of my legs and a bottle earlier on in the race will say something different, like we got bottle number three here at 16.2k and it just says rhythm. Because at that point, I just need to be in the rhythm, in the zones, clipping away the k's, clipping away the miles, and then later on, we squeeze. I come, I make mess, I leave. Time to start winding down. Gonna get a little flush out massage, just 15 minutes, nice and gentle. It's more of a stroke, really. Just get the legs feeling good. Have dinner, write down my timings for the morning, and this is it. One more sleep. Starting to get all the feels. The real horrible nervousness, which is, it's just a thing you have to accept. It's normal at this point. Like, I've been training for this race tomorrow since January and I've got some really big scary goals for it and also I get to go out there and have fun so there is pressure but there isn't pressure and goal number one is always to have fun I always say that on this channel go and have fun enjoy it then we go on the PB hunt and we see how many minutes we can take off of my 234 time from last year and just go and kill it love the grind bus now. Wishing that I had my headphones, but apparently I didn't pack them. So I'm just going to sing some songs in my head and chill out. So we've got exactly two hours till the race starts. Where I leave you, I guess. Yep. We do my warm up. And this here track, it'll be a very well measured mile to 10 minutes. 
get some of the nerves out from my legs. You got this, baby. Yeah, okay. I do. I got it. Yes. I'm ready. Ready to rock and roll. Ready to love the grind. So I'll see you out there on the course. Mm -hmm. But before that, a word from today's amazing sponsor, OTE. are the bomb and they're pineapple hydro tabs by OTE which is the sponsor of today's video and instead of talking about how delicious and amazing all of the products are I'm gonna talk to you about what the products have allowed me to do now I talk about the one percent the two percent the three percent all of the little percents that add up all the time on this channel because it's genuinely really important they're all the things that add up and make the difference that get you towards your goals as well as the bleedingly obvious doing the hard work getting out the door and doing the running but this stuff it's not a one percent nope it's not a 2%, it's not a 3%. In the marathon, fueling, getting your fueling right for you, practicing it, and then executing that fueling plan on race day, in your sessions beforehand, it's probably 30, 40%. You can't put really fast long runs together, massive marathon sessions, or run the marathon to your potential without smashing your fueling. And with that in mind, why not go and snag yourself the best fueling in the game, the super carbs from OTE. It's got the carbs, it's got the electrolytes, and it's got the flavor that you need to fuel yourself and enjoy it whilst you're doing it during the marathon and carbs are king and OTE are my official fueling partner for this marathon. Huge thanks to OTE for the support, for fueling me during my training during this marathon and for sponsoring today's video. Go and get yourself 20% off using my code that's on the screen right now. It's OTE dash Philly 20. Let's get back to the marathon. And you can see, obviously, our elite starting to prepare there as well. But the massive... There's a few nervy faces we can see there as we look down to the, uh, the starting pen for, for the elites. They were going just under a minute away now from this race getting underway. Two of the, the English athletes making their way down to the start line. Like we said, the depth of these elite fields growing year on year.
do have some information on the uh, the ladies race. Philippa Bowden, the Great Britain run-up, is in third place at the moment, and she has just moved her way up. She's gone past the Berta, a vast Moller, Krona from the United States as well, and the long-time race leader and the heavy favourite, Julia Chekwell. Here she goes, down the finish straight. She's absolutely flying. She's looking at her watch. She is charging here. You can see that shot, which just really shows the heat once again. 400 metres to go for Philippa Bowden. Come on, Philly! Come on, Green Chief! 400 to go, come on! Get all you've got, man! You look so good! But this is a great stepping stone. It's going to give her a lot of confidence that she can compete amongst the best. Contemplating life. I'm not sure I really have anything positive to say and get rewarded with those qualifying times, I'm sure. But 2.29 again in this heat is just terrific running from Philly Bowden. Nice ride, I'm not happy with it. I feel like I had it in me, but I just didn't feel good out there. She's come through for third. She's eaten up those elite women as they've kind of splintered and faltered off the back of the, our winner, Tanui, today. That was so hard. I don't understand why that felt so hard. But Philly Bowden, Ellen, she's bringing it home. She is indeed, and she's not stopping. I can see her to the side of our commentary cabin. Look at the way she's charging. She has saved something for this finish. Look at the smile on her face. Uh, mm. She is pushing so, so hard here to the line. Well, we've spoken today about athletes who haven't managed to back up their debut marathon. Philippa Bowden has done that and so much more. The crowd are behind her. She is soaking up every part of this atmosphere. She'll cross the line with a huge smile. She spreads her arms. Wow, that is an incredible performance from the English athlete. Well, it's a huge personal best and one of the few personal bests we've seen today. But how interesting is that on the on the women's side? They've all run personal bests. Obviously, second place was a debutante, but uh, we class that as a personal best. So Copenhagen putting yes. itself on the map how much with Ali Dixon. To, uh, she she can't quite believe it. I know when we when you uh, flicked the results up on your phone and saw her her name so high up the order. I'm not sure we could believe it either. I know we're both big fans of the the GB athlete and we've been watching her for a while. But what a performance! I can't stop crying. I didn't realise I came third until like. You got third. You're medaled. You're medaled. I was like, I got a flag. <laughs> I just felt amazing, like. You looked it. And I felt like every time I like smiled at the crowd, they like cheered louder, and I just like got so much energy from it. So I was just like, come on. <laughs> I felt sick in like the last mile, but I was like, not this time, like. And then my quads and my glutes started cramping, but like had 2K to go. So I was just like, come on, come on, I can do it. And then the like, the markers after a K were just so slow. It was like 800, <laughs> 600, 400. And I was like, come on. Oh, I was just so happy to get it done. And to have like such an unreal experience. I have to say a big thanks to Matt as well for taking me to halfway, past halfway. Oh, wow, he he just like controlled that whole first half and like I actually felt more comfortable in the second half when I could like let loose a little bit. Man, five minute PB on a day like that where it's beaten down with heat. I just, I wrote Dally and she was like, I'm not filming this now, you promoted me. <laughs>
So you go there. Did you? Yeah. Yes. Just so you know. No one noticed. I just, I ran around. <laughs> to smile at halfway. So I wrote down 229 on my arm and when I sat down with Helen to talk about the plan about a week before the marathon, we agreed on 229.30 pace and that's what I was going to go for. And now it's called the 228 project and that's still a big goal for me one day to go sub 228 but looking at the training that I'd done and where I was at, we didn't want to be greedy and we also wanted to leave the, the door open for it going better than we expected. And 229.30 is where we landed on. I was so lucky to have a 229 pacer, Matt, who, massive shout out to Matt. He came to watch his girlfriend run this race and got roped in when one of the pacemakers dropped out. So he had to wear shoes that were half a size too small that they picked up for him down the road and he took me to 23k and was absolutely perfect on point made me feel at ease constantly checking in with me and just made that first half go by so quickly so massive shout out to matt and his yeah he was metronomic negative split baby that's crazy negative split came third in the race took five minutes and 20-ish seconds off my PB. And I had a great time. I don't even, I don't even know where to start to talk about the race. So I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna process it, say thank you to a lot of people and give you a proper race breakdown in a race recap video in a few days, but. For now, I'm just gonna enjoy this and wait for my legs to come back to life. <laughs> What's that? Love the grind. Love the grind. Full send, baby. Full send! I don't have a microphone to drop, so I'm gonna drop my drink. Drink drop. Full send! 